Hey everyone, it's Final Round and my name is Jordan. I stayed up a little too late watching these games, uh, but I found some plays for Saturday. There will not be a prop talk because these games start so early in the day. Uh, but if I do find something later on, I will put something in the pinned comment for this video. Uh, we do not have lines out for the Chicago Sky because Kennedy Carter still is uh, questionable with an illness and that changes a lot of things for the Chicago Sky. But I'm gonna jump into some plays that I found. Um, you'll see images that come up on the screen. Those will be from a data app called Outlier. There's a link in the description to give you a seven day free trial for Outlier. So this first game is gonna be Minnesota Lynx versus the Washington Mystic. This game, uh, they just played against each other on Thursday. So they just kind of stayed in town and they're gonna play each other again. So a play that I like that I saw is Nafisa Collier of the Minnesota Lynx over 12 and a half rebounds and assist at minus 136. Uh, this got bumped up and then it came back down. Uh, the rebounds line is at nine and a half. So you're getting three extra for the assist. And you'll see on Thursday, she had 12 rebounds and four assists. So what I like about uh, Nafisa Collier is when I was watching the game on Thursday, um, I wanted to see who was going to guard Stephanie Dolson for Washington. Uh, she's the, the center for Washington that uh, shoots a lot of three-pointers. And it was Elena Smith who was guarding her on the perimeter as she just sat there and uh, you know kind of pulled her out of the paint. And Collier was getting a lot of rebounds. So Elena Smith's rebounds were bumped up by one. I had that play last time around. Um, but I'm going to go with Collier this time around, knowing that they're going to put uh, Elena Smith on Stephanie Dolson, and Collier is going to be closer to the basket for missed shots. And uh, she was passing pretty well, and she just needs three assists to kind of push on this line. Um, you can go nine and a half rebounds if you want to and just uh, just worry about rebounds, but, but I think the assists could, could help out with this line. Uh, Washington, they give up the fifth most rebounds and they're in the middle with assist. Um, outlier, they give insights and they say that she has gone over this in seven out of her last eight games versus teams who are in the bottom five for rebounds. So like this play for Nafisa Collier. If you guys could, please like the video. And if you haven't, please subscribe to the channel. If you have a little bit of extra time, could you leave a comment for the algorithm? You can just say anything and it works. Um, and a lot of people literally just say anything. The second pick is going to be Shakira Austin of Washington over 17 and a half points plus rebounds at minus 114. Uh, so she's gone over this in 86% of games this season. She got injured and she came back and played against Minnesota. Uh, what I really like about her is her, her rebounding and she can score a little bit. Um, the rebounds line was at six and a half and it was like uh, minus 180 something. They hadn't bumped it up. So I went and looked at the points and rebounds and see that, you know, she's only misses once this season. She plays about 20 minutes a game. She played her 20 minutes in that game and that looks like her normal minutes structure. She got nine points and 10 rebounds in that game coming back on Thursday. So I think she played great. Uh, Minnesota, actually, they, they give up the most rebounds in the WNBA, and a lot of those are offensive rebounds. And they give up the, the least amount of points in the past month of the WNBA where they were playing. Um, so it's a tough matchup on points, uh, but rebounds is definitely good. Um, I do like the hit right here. But if you'd like to do the bump yourself, you can move her rebounds line up to 7.5, and, and that's at plus 120. I don't hate that either. Definitely best matchup possible for rebounds for Shakira Austin. Uh, 10 rebounds in 20 minutes. That's Shakira Austin of the Washington Mystics. So this third play, this next game is going to be the most hyped game of the day. The Liberty uh, versus the Aces. Um, taking a look at the lines, uh, there's a lot of big names on these teams and a lot of the lines are very high. So more than likely, we're going to have a lot of people go under and just a few go over on their lines. So it's kind of like pick who you think is going to have a really good game. Uh, the Liberty already played a game on Thursday. So they, they kind of, you know, they hit the ground running coming back from the Olympics. They could continue and just, you know, come out hot here against the Aces. This is just a, a very familiar matchup for both teams. Uh, so the, the 
pick that I, I'm going to go with is Asia Wilson of the Aces under 40 and a half points, rebounds, and assist. Um, she's gone under in nine out of the last 10 matchups versus the Liberty. This play is a 50% play on the season. So the matchup wise, Liberty give up the third least points, third least assists. You know, those go hand in hand. Um, and then they're in the middle of the road with rebounds. Uh, so Asia Wilson's line is just very high here. So I'm just going to go with the under. And when you take a look at other players like Sabrina Nescu, Jackie Young, Kelsey Plum, uh, Brianna Stewart. So I feel like this is going to be just a, a tough fought game with uh, two teams with something to prove. Um, so it's Asia Wilson on the under. Uh, and before we get into this last pick, I want to shout out my partners, Underdog Fantasy, Sleeper, Parlay Play, and Chalkboard. If you want to try any of these out, use promo code FINDAROUND11 on any of these. I'll match your first deposit up to $100. There are links in the description. I'll take you straight there with the promo code. And thank you to anyone who uses those. Uh, so this last game is going to be the uh, Chicago Sky versus the LA Sparks. Um, LA Sparks looked awful coming back. They looked a step slow against the Liberty. Liberty, I, I think they were up by 40 at one point. And then the Chicago Sky, they looked awful. They didn't have Kennedy Carter. They traded away Mabry, who looked great tonight. And um, they had nobody to really facilitate things and get things going. For their offense, they had no playmakers. So if Kennedy Carter is still out, the Chicago Sky still may be out of sorts. Um, so I'm going to go with Dierka Hamby over uh, nine and a half rebounds at minus 132. Now, historically, the Chicago Sky uh, this season are tough against rebounds. But in that game with Mabry gone and Kennedy Carter out, they shot 37% from the field and 21% from the three-point line. That opens up a ton of rebound opportunities. And Outlier had a pretty cool insight on uh, Dier Kahambi. Um, over in 11 out of the last 14 home games. So... A pretty good hit rate on uh, getting 10 plus rebounds for her. And even with Carter back, that doesn't solve their situation with distributing the ball. Carter is just going to kind of try to do everything herself. The lane is going to be clogged because Angel Reese and uh, Cardoso can't stretch the floor. So there, there should be a lot of rebound opportunities for the Erica Hamby. And uh, we'll see where Angel Reese's rebounds line comes out at. She likes to get a lot of offensive rebounds. And if Kenny Carter's not there, there's going to be more, more missed shots um, from both ends. So if you'd like to discuss lines further, I have a Discord. Link is in the description. You can hop on in there. It's free. Um, and uh, just talk about all the lines for all kinds of sports. we got a big UFC card tomorrow. I'm excited about that. I'll be putting in some bets for that. Um, uh, whenever I did USC videos, it was like, you know, I had like the read on kind of, you know, what would happen, but like I would have the guy for a submission and he'd get knockout. Then I'd have a guy for a knockout and he'd get a submission. And it was just uh, uh, a mess, but I still put in bets because I, I find it fun, uh, just small bets. Uh, so I have someone to cheer for. So as far as the recap goes, uh, two days ago on Thursday, I went two and two. Uh, Kennedy Carter was ruled out. And then uh, for tonight, uh, this Friday night, I'm filming, I guess, Saturday morning. I had taken a uh, Caitlin Clark assist at nine and a half. I, I took that on Thursday. I put it in my prop talk. I said, if you can get this line, take this line now. It's probably going to get bumped up. Um, and I said, take the Indiana Fever Um uh, against the Mercury on a back-to-back because -back, I don't think a team has won on a back-to-back -back yet. And uh, uh, the Fever ended up winning. Caitlin Clark hit the 10 assists, but then on the next video, it was bumped up. And I said, I, I guess I, I'm okay with it. And then that missed. So if you got to her early, you went over. If you got to her late, uh, you hooked. So that's why I just hate bumps. But a, a lot of plays have been just hooking on on the bumps and uh it sucks um then uh skylar diggins smith over five and a half assist um she had a six assist people say and then um it was taken away due to a stat correction she ended up at five she actually scored a lot more she wasn't being the facilitator she was before the break uh, she, i mean she still got five assists but but still she uh, dropped almost 30 points 
um, and had a really great game. So as there was a lot of players who just looked like they were just ready to come out and score, and Skylar Diggins Smith was was one of them. And um, yeah, so hooked on the assist. Marina Mabry uh, PRA at 22 and a half. Um, from the first video, um, it actually got bumped down. She still went over um, the, the first one. Um, she played a ton of minutes for the Sun because uh, Dijanae Carrington was out. Uh, so um, happy with that one. Um, I did say in prop talk, um, you can just go with her points because it got bumped down and she went over that points pretty easily. And also in that prop talk, I said Brittany Griner points and uh, she got in foul trouble and got like half the points that she needed to get. So um, that sucked. And Satu Sabli, um, over one and a half three pointers made at plus 138. She hit this in the first quarter, so we'll probably see this at 1.5 again, but the payout's not going to be as great. So I think she went over all of her lines. So a lot of that stuff's going to get bumped up. So enjoy the injured player returning lines being low while you can. Um, keep an eye on uh, Sykes from Washington. Uh, she's returning um and she's a great player last year uh you can take a look at her points rebounds and assists is like an 80 percent hit rate uh, that line from last year but she's coming back from an injury and and slowly working her way back in um so she's going to be one where one day she's going to get her normal minutes and she's going to just explode and go over her lines and then we're never going to see those lines that low again just something to look out for i'm going to get this edited and get it out to you god bless you all it's fine around my name is jordan i will catch you on the next one bye